looks like uh, the dealer and Honda are stepping up and doing the right thing. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. Motor vlogs, DIY tips and hacks, and of course those accessory installation videos that everybody loves. If you are a passionate Honda Goldwing enthusiast, or if you just like watching somebody who is, then I would appreciate it if you'd click on that little subscribe button down there somewhere and if you click on that little bell icon YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos so I'm just finishing up my morning run for coffee and breakfast at Einstein's just like I do almost every morning just as a good opportunity for me to visit and catch up with you on the way back home it's about a 12 minute ride back home so it's a perfect time for a motor vlog now in my last motor vlog we talked about wavy's 2018 goldwing that had the uh, engine problem and man did i get a lot of comments from you guys i uh first of all i'm just going to go through a few of the comments that that come to mind some of you claim that, um, you know, the term catastrophic engine failure was a little overdone, like it, it you know, like it wasn't that bad. Uh, I guess in my definition, anytime an engine fails uh, that requires uh, the bike to be down for a couple of weeks to repair because it has to be torn apart, that's pretty catastrophic. But that's just a matter of opinion and semantics. Um, and then, of course, there's some of you that said, you know, maybe it wasn't, you know, maybe we were, we were jumping the gun. And Anyway, the good news is that I did get a message from Wavy. I'd say about a couple hours after the video was posted to YouTube. And he said that, the dealer had reached out to him and that Honda was going to overnight the parts required for the repair and that the dealer the owner of the dealership who I think is also the service manager I'm, I'm reading between the lines of his message was going to personally see to it that the engine got repaired and it should be about a week so that's much better than the initial report wavy got which was that he didn't know when honda was going to ship the parts and it could take several weeks to get the bike repaired he, he was prepared to lose the entire riding season so i'm not speaking for wavy i'm just going by the last message i received from him on saturday that uh, things are looking up so I think I would say that as far as we know right now and I will report back once I know more and once the bike has been repaired but I would say it sounds to me like Honda stepped up and did the right thing here by overnighting the parts now a lot of you commented one of the big comments I got was you can't expect Honda to or the dealer to provide a loaner or to replace the motorcycle and the reason most of you gave was they don't want to set that precedent that by you know providing a customer with a loaner or with a new motorcycle a swap out that they would be setting a bad precedent well you know my response to that is I would hope there's not enough engine failures of the Goldwing within the first couple thousand miles that a precedent would have to be set it shouldn't happen that often to where there would be a precedent. I would think these would be one in 5,000. So 
I don't buy the setting a precedent argument because if it's happening that much that you'd have to worry about that, then you got bigger problems to worry about. If this motorcycle was a year old with 30,000 miles on it, that's one thing. Well, let me give you this example. Let's say you go to a dealership and you purchase a brand new Goldwing and you pay $28,000 for that Goldwing. You get it all tricked out with some accessories. Maybe you're up to $30,000. You've signed all the paperwork. You've paid the money. It's your motorcycle. Technically, it's yours. You go out to the parking lot. You start the bike. You put it in gear. You're just on your way out of the parking lot and the engine craps out and it won't run and now they tell you it's going to be three weeks to a month before you can have a motorcycle how would you feel at that point would you would you not expect the dealer just to tear up the paperwork and rewrite the paperwork with a new VIN number for a different motorcycle so somewhere between just getting off the dealer's lot with the new bike and having 2,000 to 5,000 miles on the bike. Somewhere in that area is a point where you still consider a brand new bike and you would expect that kind of service or at least hope to get that kind of service. And certainly some of you that commented on the video said that you've had similar things happen where they did give you a brand new motorcycle. So anyway, I just wanted to report the good news. I want to be fair. I want to let you know that the early signs are that since the video came out, uh, it looks like uh, the dealer and Honda are stepping up and doing the right thing. If it only takes them a week to 10 days to get the motorcycle back, I think that's reasonable. I think that's a good sign. And uh, I will let you know what the final conclusion is of this story. Now. On another topic, I think I mentioned in a previous Motovlog that I had sat down with Don Smith for an interview. He wanted to do a video on me for some reason. And he has just posted that video. So if uh, you're interested, check out Don Smith's channel uh, where he talks about Cruise Man and uh, if you find that sort of thing interesting, I'd be interested to know. But he's got a new channel that he's, you know, getting off the ground and it's uh, doing pretty well. And I think he's got some interesting things. Don is a great storyteller. You know, he's, his background is in broadcasting. He was a, uh, a national uh, news network cameraman, a freelance cameraman for many, many years. He's got a lot of experience with uh, broadcasting and editing, and you'll see that in this video. You'll see kind of where his professional editing comes into play. And you see it in all his videos. So check out his channel, and check out the video that he did on me. And we had a good time together. We had breakfast two or three times during his uh, work on that video. Also, another quick reminder that the August promotion for the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance videos will end on Friday. So if you don't have your videos by then, uh, the price will go up and you will miss out on a great deal. So before the price increases back, check out those videos if you have a 2018 or 2019 Goldwing. Also, we're getting ready for Wingding. I will be leaving Dallas-Fort Worth uh, next weekend. Uh, the plan is for my girlfriend to be going with me. It's the first road trip she and I have done in a while. It's the first road trip we've done on the 2018 Goldwing together. And it will be the first time we've done a extended ride where we're using the Cardo Pack Talk Bold headset. So I'm going to be doing a 
long-term review video on the pack talk bold and what our experience is using those with the intercom communication capabilities I'll be doing some more reviewing of this uh, Garmin 595 LM GPS while we're on that road trip because I've already got my route laid out multi-day route going to Nashville and so we'll have a lot of cool new videos coming up of course we'll be doing motor vlogs every day during the ride from Wingding I even went to Epidemic and picked out some country music to use for the videos I hope you enjoy that thought we'd get in the mood for Tennessee I love Tennessee Tennessee is one of my favorite states in fact I'm not so sure I wouldn't like to live there and I'm a you know I've been in Texas nearly my entire life and I'm I'm a pretty passionate Texan but I'm telling you Tennessee is such a beautiful state They've got reasonable taxes. Their property taxes are about a fourth of what we pay here, and they don't have a state income tax. I mean, it's just, there's a lot of appeal to moving to Tennessee, so I've got that on my radar. So anyway, I appreciate you joining me today on Cruise Man's Garage Motor Vlogs. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will check in with you in a few days on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.